Good morning. How's everybody today? I hope you're all doing well. I hope a special sunshine wakes you up today with a smile on your face and has something exciting waiting for you. And I hope the bucket of blessings from last night made a mess. <laughs> so it's early this morning before seven o'clock nice and quiet the sun's not up too much yet so I want to get my uh, stuff out to start cutting that hedge and get it done while it's nice and cool still Mr. G's here you want to say good morning Mr. G hey you want to say good morning your fan club do you want to say good morning to your fan club say good morning from paradise can you say that can you say good morning from paradise handsome boy so I'm gonna get the I'll go get the cable out and get the machine out and get started before it gets warm if I can get to the end of that quick before it gets hot Kevin will be happy so I'll come back. I can't record and cut the hedge. You need two hands for the machine and one for the camera. And the last I looked, I only have two appendages. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd like you to watch. Okay, before it gets, before that sun can get up, I'm gonna get going. So let's see what I can get done. Yeah, it's getting warm already, so I'm going to shirt off and get stuck in fast because I need to get to the end before that sun gets up. Okay. That's the sides done to the end. All the way down and around a couple of meters around the corner. It only goes about four meters around the corner. I got about halfway. I guess I did about two meters. This got some tea, and I got my sweat rag, and I'm ready. I got to go get the ladder to do on top of here because this area of the hedge right here is gone ballistic. There's obviously a lot of nutrients in the ground for that in that area because the, it always grows fat and tall without doing anything to it. So, I'm quite happy that it's tall, but I don't want it to get any taller. The bush is wearing my hat. <laughs> so, get the ladder out, hat on, rag in hand, and uh, just do the top of that hedge. How much is that? How much is that? About six meters? Seven meters? Just have to do the top. So, if I get, I don't really want to stand on the ladder. I don't really want to stand on the ladder because it hurts my knee. But nobody else here to do it so I got to do it so I'm going to um, be careful take my time and hopefully not hurt myself again because I'm on the mend I think another couple weeks and I'll be able to say it's uh, almost gone
He's got um, <clears throat> he's got a fish basket. You know the fish that swim in to get whatever bait he puts in. But it looks like he's got lots and lots of tiny little ones, so he's throwing them back in. Okay guys, it seemed I survived. <laughs> I started at 7 o'clock. Well, by the time I got sorted out, got all my stuff together, it was about 7 o'clock. I stopped around 8.30 for a drink and to feed everybody, because the dogs were complaining they were following me, which means feed me. And then I kept working until now, which is 11 o'clock. And the temperature now is... Um, just coming up to 34 centigrade, which is about 93 Fahrenheit and humid. But I think I did it. I put, you want to see what I did? There's the hedge. I washed it again because it was still had dust in it. What do you think? And you got the Sar Major eye on it. Uh -huh. I do that bump down there is getting better because I'm trimming it more as the as it's getting stronger inside it's coming up higher so it has more strength to hold itself so a couple more weeks I guess so I'll, I'll trim it all the same but look at that it's pretty isn't it you see that big red flim flaw is gone I also did my washing well the washing machine did it and I clean I blew all the leaves and everything from taking that flim flaw down, blew all that away, cleaned up all that area, getting trying to get rid of some of that dust. So just getting back to normal now. So the hedge is done inside and out from up there all the way to the back. I washed clothes. What else did I do? Blew around there. I did something else. Fed the dogs. I wanted to tell you but I forgot now. Oh, maybe I forgot on purpose. <laughs> Everybody says, don't use the strimmer, you'll hurt your knee. Well, I used it. And I didn't hurt my knee strimming, but I stood in a pothole at the back of the garden. That twinged it a little bit. So it's okay, I've been walking around on it, and it's still okay. So what I'm gonna do now is go in the house, have a shower, and then I can have breakfast at 11 o'clock and just chill out. We got nothing else to do outside today. Maybe water some later on. But that's me. I can have breakfast now. You know, th this place is a little bit big for me by myself. But I think, you know, if I wanted to, I could just keep going. But, you know, I'm not getting any younger. So I'm so starting to think, hmm, maybe I could sell PRD here and move to the north where it's not so hot and do the same thing on a smaller scale. I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? Should I just stay here? Or downsize a little bit and then go do it somewhere else in the north? In the north you can actually grow vegetables because it's cooler there. Whereas here it's too hot. You, you know, it's very difficult to grow anything here, like a veggie, because it's just uh, too hot. If, for now, I'm still good. I still feel okay, I'm still able to maintain. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna start um, getting rid of a few things to make it a little bit easier. I'll show I you. I got that bowl over there, it's really nice. It's, you know, I bought it, it was quite expensive. But I'm gonna give it to Nut. You know Nut, the, um, the lady with the coffee shop? So you can put that bowl on top of the stand, and she likes water plants. At her plants. shop, she has um, many different things in pots, and water plants and things like that. And I noticed the other day I went over there to have a coffee, and I seen that she has some uh, cheap looking pots, that she has some of her new water plants in. I don't know where she got the plants. Everybody swaps plants. But um, I thought, I had a plant in there and it was a uh, water lily and it was doing really well. And then all of a sudden it was in there like two years and it just give up. You know, I kept feeding it 
and water put new water in and so on but it just didn't want to go so I thought okay let it go I told you the story of this one before I got it it was almost dead it was like a half a leaf left somebody threw the plant out and it was like a half a leaf left that was green so I don't know why I what I you know I seen it and I took it and I put it in a pot and here it is today three years later I bought that with me from a, the apartment complex somebody threw it out and I don't know why I just don't I don't like to see things die so I brought it here and that's this Put it there and let it, and here it is today. Meow. <laughs> Like one of the comments yesterday was uh, army barmy, which is uh, British slang or British soldier slang for uh, over the top, like too much. <laughs> when I um, wash the hedge, army barmy, I love that. I haven't heard that for years and years. Thank you. Okay guys, I think it's that, it's that time again. I've just been watering the garden quickly. Now I'm going to turn into bug food if I don't do it fast. So I'm going to sign off and say good night. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Buckets of blessings. Rivers of joy. Boxes of peace. <laughs> Almost got me there, didn't you? Almost got me. Okay, guys. Good night. Look after yourselves. See you in the morning.